Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to a match of StarCraft 2. Now I think that today it's time for a crazy game because spawning here in the bottom left hand corner of Everdream, playing with the Red Protoss probes, we're looking inside of the main base of Florencio. Now for those of you unfamiliar, I've casted a bunch of Florencio games over the last couple of months. This guy plays absolutely insane strategies. This is a master league game of Protoss versus Protoss. I don't know what to expect either, but generally speaking, this guy likes to go for strange strategies and then somehow, some way, makes it work. Now this is a master league match, right? So on paper, <laughs> stuff like this should not work. He stacked up all of his probes to make it look like just a single worker. Now, there is a scouting worker actually coming up for the opponent as well. He sees just one probe, although it's got like a really thick laser beam right there at the end of it. So I guess you can kind of figure it out. Uh, but I do think that this is a bit of a disaster right now though, because, well, obviously his opponent is not an idiot. He knows that something's not quite right. This is not StarCraft 1. You don't start with just like, you know, four workers. But anyways, is he going to go for a forge? Okay, anyways, his opponent in the top right-hand corner with the blue Protoss probes, he goes by the name of... Shaoran. Shaoran? Something like that. Anyways, here's those workers. Now, I don't know if he realizes it yet. He actually split off one of them. Oh, you know what? Ah, a forge is coming up. Is this like a 200 IQ cannon rush? Oh, I think it is. Okay, so normally you don't manage to get a probe into your main, or the main base rather, of your opponent. But he stacked them all up together and then smoothly sent one of them towards the corner of the main base of his opponent. Oh! <gasps> So while this is obviously costing a lot of mining time here, especially for Florencio, I mean, the same can be said, I guess, for the player in blue, this is certainly, yeah, not something you really expect right now. Sha Ren has no idea that there is a single worker inside of his main base already producing structures. Now, the lost mining time here, though, is huge, right? He needs to kill a ton of workers, Florencio, that is, in order to, like, justify that. With the Zealot coming out, though, he decides to recall the probes back home. They're going to be able to continue mining here for a little while longer. Zealot is coming up. Now, you know what? He actually completed the wall off, which means that this Zealot is actually outside of the main base right now. So, um, he's going to need it. As soon as he sees the first Photon Cannon, he's going to have to have this, this Zealot inside of that main base. Okay, yeah. There he starts working on his own pylon there. Nice move, actually. Now... Yeah, okay, so he made one Photon Cannon outside of the vision range right there of Shao Ran, and right now he's decided to go for additional Photon Cannons that are in range of the Nexus. The boys are being pulled. Let's see how many workers he can kill right now. I love that. The pylon actually here also successfully reducing the surface area here that that Photon Cannon can attack in. And you know what? A lot of the Zealots are derping around. The probes are kind of blocking some of the pathing. Additional Photon Cannons here will finish up in just a little bit. Tons of workers are already being killed here, but that's... That Photon Cannon will get shut down here eventually. He really needs to start up additional units. Like, he really needs more stuff. With the two additional Photon Cannons finishing up right now, yeah, they're going to be able to get more and more workers. This Zealot running dangerously low on life as well. Florencio, can you target it down? Not quite going to happen. Oh, well, he's going to target it with the probe instead. <laughs> he's using his taser. Get him! Uh, uh, target it with the Photon... There it is. Nicely done. All right, yeah, so old Greg... He's going to be able to continue the harassment here for a little while longer. You know what? I've got a feeling that a lot of games can be won right from this position. By going for a 200 IQ cannon rush. Never seen something like this before. And I love it because this game has been around for like, well, 10 years right now. And players like Florencio are still coming up with strategies and making them work at like high level StarCraft 2, right? This is Master League. Anyways, um... Yeah, now with the two Stalkers, of course, available, I mean, they're outranging a lot of this stuff, so they're going to be able to get rid of this. In the grand scheme of things, right now, though, 17 workers were killed here by old Greg, and he's making another typical Florencio move. I think he's moving, yep, towards the bottom right-hand corner with a worker, probably going to plant down a Nexus. I've seen him do this many times. Now, the Stalkers are currently marching across the map. Luckily here for Florencio, there's not going to be an option to, like, make additional Stalkers here. So, you know, he doesn't have the money for it right now, so he needs to make probes instead. A couple of photon cannons here eventually will finish up, but I think that that photon, or rather that pylon was actually mispositioned a little bit. I don't think he could squeeze in one more photon cannon over there. If he could have completed the wall off here, I think he probably could have prevented a lot of this. And a nice mineral walk micro as well, forcing these probes to go through the stalkers. And uh, I think he holds, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Now, economy advantage, great, right? Certainly right now an advantage right here for the player in red. 
Here's the thing, though. He does not have any tech, right? So he still needs to start up the Cybernetics Core that's coming up right now. I would love to see Shao Ran go for, like, I don't know, an Immortal, for example. Like, say, like a robotic facility or even a Twilight Council. Just continue the harassment and try and use that advantage, right? He might not have the Eco advantage, but he does have the Army advantage plus the Tech advantage, which is huge. Now, a probe is still in the bottom right-hand corner. I think maybe Greg was a little bit worried here that he wasn't going to be able to, um, you know, get a probe out anymore. Maybe if the Stalkers uh, came in pairs of, uh, of two, right? There would be four in total, then it could be a disaster very quickly. Man, I can't believe he's not adding on a... Uh, yeah, he really needs to add on, like, a robotic facility. I wouldn't mind seeing him go for, like, a proxy robo over here and just marching the Immortals up. Either that, or he could, like, you know, use that to, like, prevent his opponent from expending. Well, I guess he's gonna expend over here, huh? <laughs> this is Florencio Loco. All logic is thrown out of the window. Uh, but yeah, like going for his own expo here would not be a bad idea. Now, is he gonna expect his opponent to have another Nexus up? Luckily here for old Greg, there is a Photon Cannon inside of the Mineral Line, so that's quite helpful. There's a Stalker coming up here as well, so that's gonna be able to start poking away here at these, uh, at these Adepts here in just a little bit too. One of the pylons already was taken care of, but I'm a little bit worried right now for the player in blue because he has no idea about the expansion in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, you always have to keep thinking, right, in these scenarios. If my opponent decided to go for a cannon rush, yes, that costs them a lot, but if I lose a lot of probes and I have quite a bit of money, where is my opponent spending his minerals? Because, yes, initially he obviously spent it on, uh, on those photon cannons and pylons, but right now, where is he spending his money? Maybe he's uh, he's expecting his opponent to go like for four gateways or something like that. In the meantime, though, obviously at Nexus, it's now finishing up. Recall will be used to send those adepts back home. But the Nexus in the bottom right hand corner is it done? Ay ay ay. Okay, so where do you go from here? Finally, a robo facility is coming up, but I actually think that this timing is uh, yeah, it's not ideal. So there's a couple different advantages that you can have in StarCraft 2, right? So one very obvious one is an army advantage, just having more stuff. Secondly is an economy advantage, where you get yourself, uh, you know, a larger economy, and therefore eventually you can produce a larger army and, you know, kill your opponent because you have more stuff. Uh, like, thirdly, you have an upgrade advantage as well, where you can get better upgrades than your opponents, and then you can oftentimes win even when you have a smaller army. The most important one to keep in mind in this game is the advantage that Shao Ren sort of threw out of the window, and that is a tech advantage. He had himself that cybernetics core already done before his opponent, I think, even started up a, uh, a gateway. He could have certainly gotten himself some higher tech units out a little bit faster. Now, anyways, Florencio did manage to get himself a couple of stalkers across the map. Lost one of them just now. He did see his opponent taking a, a Nexus. Now, Shao Ren does realize that something is a little bit fishy. Okay. Um, he's wondering right now, where is that money being spent? Trying to figure out if maybe there's like a nexus somewhere out into the map. Luckily here for Florencio, the bottom right hand corner was not quite scouted yet. Now notice as well, he's actually leaving energy on this nexus. So if he absolutely needs to, he could always recall these stalkers towards that section of the map instead, right? So I quite like that. Gonna be a, uh, a Twilight Council here as a follow-up as well. Blink, obviously, very popular in PvP. Ooh, the Adepts actually now committed to the main base. They get picked off immediately. Yeah, and with the Adept gone right now, I don't think he's gonna scout anymore. He scouted the entire top section of the map. So he scouted all of the bases on, I guess, like the top left-hand perimeter of the map, but not really anything in the bottom right-hand corner going around here. Um, now, I've got a feeling, though, that this is not gonna be just... Hmm. Is it just going to be Stalkers? I mean, he's going up to four gases right now. If you want to go for a Stalker-heavy opener, you really don't need this much gas early on. A couple more Stalkers, though. Oh, actually, <laughs> one Adept now also being warped in into the main base of the opponent. Robodo is going to finish up that Immortal here eventually. And honestly, this is still a very good position here for Shao Ren. He stabilized successfully. The only thing he doesn't know right now is where his opponent is spending his money. So, upon seeing these additional gateways, you should know that there's an additional base as well, because five gateways is more than you can actually properly spend your money with on one base. So either, you know, he assumes his opponent is a cannon rusher every single game and he doesn't have much stuff, or 
there might be an extra base. And there we go. The units have indeed moved towards the bottom right the corner. I think they must have used Recall. Yeah, Recall is actually on cooldown right now. Stalkers inside of the main base of Florencio, but Stalkers also inside of the natural of Shaoran. That one Immortal, though, is going to be exceptionally helpful, but tons of workers are being killed here. That now brings the total up to 30. Can you kill the Immortal here? I'm not entirely sure. A little bit of a misfire right there. Yeah, adapts into the main base is not a bad idea. Maybe start working on that mineral line for a little bit. But the main base in the meantime, though, under a lot of pressure. Stalkers here also were warped in with some nice, uh, yeah, micro air in the warp prism. There certainly is some potential to be gained. The uh, prism, though, does fall because it was in that phasing mode. He was trying to warp in some more stuff. Didn't quite happen. In the meantime, the adepts are working on a bunch more probes. And while they eventually will get gunned down by that immortal, as well as those stalkers... That's a lot of workers going down on both sides of the map. So we're now 11 minutes almost into this game. And uh, both players basically have one base economy. I love it. I actually now think that this is an advantage though for Florencio because the base in the bottom right corner has not been scouted yet. That's absolutely huge, right? Xiaoran completely misreading the situation. He probably assumes, yeah, I mean, I had like 40 workers. You had like, you know, 22 maybe on that one base, maybe a little bit more. If we trade workers there, that's an advantage for me, right? But he's not in the know-how that, you know, his opponent has another base. Well, he did see the units all of a sudden appear on his side of the map, though. <laughs> so how did they manage to go out of the main base? I guess that's a question he should be asking himself right now. No force food available. No, uh, well, actually, you don't need to force food that, but, you know, no, uh, no pylon available here either to complete that wall. He actually decides to just walk them by. Okay. Gets more worker kills. Not bad at all. Alrighty. So, Xiaoran, you got yourself an observer. I'm here. <sighs> what are you gonna do about it? Okay, so we figured out, by the way, what kind of uh, army composition old Greg here wants to go for. He's decided to go for double Stargate here in the bottom right hand corner of the map. So, two Void Rays here are being produced. He keeps seeing, by the way, that units are coming from the bottom right-hand corner as well. At least from the uh, direction of this section of the map. Oh my god, he's finally checking. No. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. You had to rally point towards the bottom right-hand corner earlier. Now he once again send it away. I think, guys, I think what... I think I figured it out. I think this is a classic case of the old army hotkey. Yeah, look at this. All of the units right now are meeting in the center of the map, and that includes that Stalker that was supposed to go to the bottom right-hand corner, and that includes all the Observers as well. So I think he's just using the old army hotkey to try and, uh, you know, get something done. In the meantime, though, those two Void Rays, they're bringing the laser beams right now to a Stalker party, and the laser beams are pretty amazing. Uh, hey, uh, Xiaoran, are you gonna... Really? Are you gonna try? Oh my god, well, Force Fields, there it is. They're gonna be exceptionally helpful. Bring the Immortals into the main base. You can ferry them over that force field, of course, but this is still gonna take forever. And in the meantime, that natural is completely, uh, you know, shut down right now. There's no mining here whatsoever. Okay. Stalker, though? Uh, Stalkers, though, are the only answer right now. He's actually gonna end up recalling the Void Rays all the way to watch the main base right now as well. The question is, is there gonna be enough right now for old Greg to defend this? Stalkers do target fire down one of those War Prisms again. Immortal taking a lot of damage there too. Both of the Immortals get picked off. Nicely done there by Florencio. Base in the bottom right hand corner. Still unscouted. The old army hotkey, man. I feel like if you didn't use it, you would have been so much stronger here. Ah. <sighs> Insert joke here about Protoss F2A moving in Master League. I'm not gonna make it, but someone in the comment section will. <laughs> well, there's still way more stalkers here available, though, for the player in uh, in blue than there is for the player in red. Zealots deal more damage than uh, stalkers do, so you gotta make sure you always micro away from those. Obviously, you can just simply, you know, micro. Oh my god, targeted down, oh, please. Uh, uh, a little bit painful, a little bit painful, but eventually. Greg will end up losing all of his stuff. Main base, though, pretty much irrelevant right now, other than, I guess, the cybernetics core. You can just start mining in the bottom right hand corner instead. Void race once again. Oh, wow. They're actually now waiting. Yeah, they've activated prismatic alignment before the stalkers even arrived. He knew what was being recalled. So prismatic alignment makes these voids deal bonus damage to armored units, and that's exactly what these stalkers are. 
Nexus taking a lot of damage. Well, finally, he's figured out that something's not quite right. He's got himself the Stalkers now moving towards the bottom right and corner. They come across a couple more Void Rays. Prismatic Alignment once again being used, and I'm pretty sure that that Void Ray will win against two of these. Ay ay ay. I think that Florencio may have just done it again. This guy plays the strangest strategies, especially like the early game, where he stacked up like eight or so probes together, and then it split off one into the main base. I think you can win the majority of games just with that alone. He still does not know, man. Yeah, now you gotta figure it out. What are you gonna do about it, though? At this point, I don't know if you have any of the options anymore. I think Shaoran has to go for like a, an all-out assault. I think he might want to try and re-expand, but there's no way that that is gonna happen. There you go, buddy. You figured it out. You had the right ideas. You had the right intentions. But you used the old army hotkey. And I guess, therefore, you shot yourself in the foot. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more Florencio games, definitely let me know down below in the comment section of this video as well. But for now, I very much so want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you once again in the next one.